You're in a university with a whole bunch of really smart people interested in sport and kinesiology, uh, involved in research of their own. Uh, this is a field that lends itself particularly to research. We, we, we depend on good both social and, and scientific research to know why people are doping and how they're doping and how to find out. There's a lot of really good work being done. There are a lot of really good programs, uh, educational and otherwise. Uh, the testing is good. What we, what we have to do is, is win the, the hearts and minds of the people that are out there in the system because if the people don't want the system to work, it won't work. As they say, we know that there are more people out there doping than we're catching. So what, how, do you, how do you close that gap? And uh, we were finding some pretty interesting things, uh, such as in, in sports like cycling, they used to give advance notice of an out of competition test. Well, all you need is an hour. Uh, to, uh, to bring about a change that will hide the fact even doping. So any test given with advance notice means nothing. So why are we doing it? Why were they doing it? I'd say it's on a par. I think, I think we, have, I'm trying to think now, but maybe had a half a dozen positive tests during the games. Our, our real deterrent uh, is twofold. One is a, an aggressive testing program before the games. And secondly, we now save the samples from the Olympic Games for a period of eight or ten years. And, and so we've gone back uh, over the last two or three Olympics knowing what we know now uh, and uh, suspecting uh, athletes who may have been doing that uh, before there was a reliable test. We go back and retest. test.